हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एफ क्लास 11 एंड 12 दिस वीडियो इज पार्ट एट ऑफ यूनिट थ्री फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ जावा प्रोग्रामिंग फॉर क्लास 12 इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी आई टी कोड एट जीरो टू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू परचेज क्लास ट्वेल्व आई टी कोड एट जीरो टू सैम्पल पेपर बुक द लिंक्स आर गिवेन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन so in today's class we are going to discuss the two topics class design and constructors introduction so let's start first of all let us proceed to our first topic which is class design so as you can remember in our previous video we had taken an example of a book to understand about object oriented programming the concept of class data members and method members so using that same example now we are going to create the class book and we are going to use some of the method members and data members that we discussed in our previous video if you have not seen it then please see it because if you watched this video without watching that video you will not understand the concept clearly so please first of all watch that video and then come back to this video so this is the coding that we are going to use for creating the class book in java if question comes like how to create class book in java write coding for it so you can write the coding in this way you have to just write this part that we have written in the coding so let us discuss this coding in detail so that each and every part of this coding is very much clear to you first of all in our coding we are having the package statement in this statement first of all we are going to use the package keyword which will indicate that we are providing the name of the package after it the name of the package is to be written after this package statement we are having the public class statement where we use the keyword and we also specify the name of the class now why is it so basically whenever we want to create a class in java then we have to use a keyword which will indicate that a class is going to be created so for this purpose we have to begin the class in java with the keyword class followed by the name of the class so you can see here we have used the keyword class and after it we have written the name of the class which is book so basically this is indicating that we are going to create a class in java and the name of this class is book now the body of the class is enclosed within curly braces here you can see that within the curly braces some of the coding part is enclosed basically this part is body of the class that we have enclosed inside the curly braces after writing the public class statement we start the curly brace so that we can define or we can give the coding for the body of the class the body contains the definitions of the data members and method members of the class basically the body of the class in java contains the definitions of data members these are the data members and the body will contain the definitions of them and this is the method member and here is the definition of method members the data members are defined by specifying their type now let us see how are these data members defined basically we first of all write the data type of the data member and then we have to write the data member for example here first of all we have written the data type of title which is string because when we are going to write the title it will be a string so that is why we have used this data type and after it we have written the data member which is title in our previous video we have discussed that why are these the 
data members in this class so these are the data members title author publisher genre price here with the first four data members are having the string data type and the last one which is price it is having the data type as double now what is the definition of method members or how do we define the method members basically as we learned in our previous video about the user defined methods in the similar way we have to define the method members also so here what was the method member in this example it was display so here is our method member and here is the coding that we are going to use for it we have used the system dot out dot println command and after it we have written the statement which we require to print here as you know that we use the data member in method member because these data members are useful when we define the method member so we have already defined the data members in previous coding and now here we are going to define the method member so that this program is executed successfully now these are the data members and this display is the method member so this method member will have access to all the data members of the class and can use them in their body means this method member display can use all these data members in its body and you can see here in the body of the method member we have used all these data members that we have defined here the data members of a class are like global variables they can accessed by all the method members of the class means here by defining these data members these are basically like the global variables as we discussed in the very beginning while we were discussing the variables topic that there are local variables and there are global variables so these data members of class act like the global variables means they can be accessed by all the method members of the class there is no restriction that they will be accessed only by these method members no there is no such restriction they can be accessed by all of them so here we are having the method member display and these data members are accessed by this method member display in its body now let us move to our next topic which is constructors constructors is a completely new topic for you so first of all we will be relating this topic to the previous topics so that you can understand that why are we using the constructors here in java first of all let us discuss about the data member we will be starting the discussion with data member a data member that is declared but not initialized before using is assigned a default value by the compiler usually either zero or null this means that sometimes we only declare the data member but we do not initialize it means we give the data type of the data member but we do not give any initial value for it that means we have declared but not initialized so what happens in this case the compiler assigns a default value to this data member and what is this default value generally it is zero or null so this was the basic concept why we use constructor how so basically when we are saying that the compiler is assigning a default value so we basically mean that the compiler is assigning the value with the help of constructor method this constructor method or we can call it as constructor it is used to initialize the data members of the class means when the user has only declared the data members but not given any initial value for them in that case the initialization will be done by the compiler with the help of the constructor method 
so this is the purpose why we are using the constructors here not only data members but any other initialization can be done it is just that that we have to do this at the time of object creation means when we have declared the data member then only the initialization is to be done if the user has not done it then the constructor method will initialize the data member it is good programming practice to always initialize variables before using them means if you have not initialized the variable then the constructor method will initialize it so it will be good if you yourself initialize the variables before you are going to use them now the constructor has the same name as the class means what will be the name of the class will be the same name of the constructor and the constructor also has list of parameters and this list is optional means the constructor may or may not have this list of parameters also the constructor has no return type return type as i told you that it is the data type of the return value so here in case of constructor which is a special method member we do not have any return type now whenever a new object of a class is created the constructor of the class is invoked automatically as i just told that whenever we are going to declare a data member then the initialization will be done by the compiler with the help of the constructor so how does this constructor is invoked or it is called how is it done basically this is invoked automatically it is called automatically we do not need to call it explicitly means the user does not need to write any coding for calling that constructor method member it will be called automatically whenever we are going to create a new object of a class if you want to purchase class 12 it code 80 to sample paper book the links are given in the description so that was all for today we'll meet you soon in the next video till then bye bye